Hello. This little memo is to just review some points for rating um, uh, glossary terms. Uh, the, per the glossary term should uh, include, be a definition of a fundamental term, a uh, principle, a concept, a rule, an element, a standard, a test, even a policy position. It should, if it's, it should be highly accurate, thorough, and complete. That doesn't mean that it's trying to write a dissertation on the particular concept, just that the definition is complete. It should include a reference to either a relevant case, a hypothetical, an example, an illustration, or some type of clarification uh, that would help you help a person with their understanding. Finally, it must include the location in the reading. That, if in reviewing the questions, you should go to the reading, the reference place, and look up, read, look up the definition, look up the reading to be sure that the definition is accurate. You can't just say it sounds accurate. You have to actually know that it's accurate. And if you have any kind of sense that it may be in an accurate in some way, then you need to be you need to look it up. In this case, that's the, that's the reason why the uh, page number in the reference is so important. So the the rating is five for well written, which means it's it has all of the parts, uh, and all, it's accurate and it has all the appropriate elements. It's well written, but it may be missing a few elements. Uh, it may not have, for instance, uh, a reference to a legal uh, uh, a case or a hypothetical. The definition needs some improvement means that it's not accurate or thorough or complete in some component. But the other parts of the of the uh, are present. That has a case, it has the reference number. Uh, so two, three is missing. All of the uh, all all of the elements are present. Two is some improvement and it's missing a few elements. One is it needs substantial improvement. It's it's uh, it's uh, inaccurate, not very thorough, and not very complete. One can also mean that it's not formatted correctly, uh, that it includes no reference number or page number. Uh, that's even if it appears on its face to be very accurate, very thorough, and incomplete. Without a reference or page number, there's no way for you for it to be checked out. Um, and then uh, zero is reserved for people who didn't post a glossary term uh, at all. So the minimum that a person can get uh, if they posted a term is a one, and the maximum is a five. You should point out how the entry could be improved. You're reviewing and rating all of the uh, uh, definitions. You're not required to comment on all of them or even most of them, uh, but you should comment on any ones you give a one or a two. You should ex particularly tell people how so let's take a look at a few. This uh, this definition uh, doesn't have a reference page, so it's no way to judge whether or not it's accurate or not. So it's going to get a one uh, just because of that. Although you, if you have some, if you're reading this, you feel like that there's some things that, from your own knowledge, that could make it better. You should feel free to do that. Allocating betterment. Here's a problem with this definition. It assumes a knowledge of what betterment is. And so it might be a better definition if it included a short sentence about what betterment is and then go into the definition of how to allocate it. It includes an example, and then I'm not critiquing these for accuracy 
or quality at all. I'm just looking to give you some uh, uh, idea of how to look at them. It doesn't include a reference number, so you would need that would need you would need to it would be rated down for that. Here's the uh, question of betterment. Um, I, I without reading thoroughly, it seems to me that this may include too much information. Um, you're trying to get a concise definition without going into the whole explanation of what it is. Um, and so um, it, it might be better if the person just included the first two sentences are, are the definition and then they had an example in uh, of what betterment might include. This, on the other hand, burden of proof may not have enough information. Uh, just looking at it, it doesn't have an example. It doesn't have a hypothetical. Uh, it use, um, and so the person, this, this definition may be incomplete. It doesn't have a reference number. This uh, here's an example of uh, a, a uh, definition that includes uh, the reference in terms of its location. And I like, because we're having problems with uh, uh, which edition it came from, I like the fact that they included the edition, uh, edition number uh, that this came from. So this is from uh, uh, place in the chain of distribution. Um, and it has an example. And it has, in this case, also a, a case citation. So the key to looking at these glossary terms is really going to be you going back and reviewing the definitions in the reading and assuring that the glossary terms are defined correctly and completely.